we're going to see the syntax for the CTOS, create table as statement. You're able to create a table based on another table. And as you can see here, we create table, you give it a table name, as, and then you can select all the columns from another table, you can select some of the columns from another table, and then you can give it a distribution key. If you don't give it a distribution key, it's going to default to the way the previous table was distributed on. One of the reasons you might create a CTOS table is for co-location on your joins. In the past, we've seen the customer table joining to the order table on customer number equals customer number, yet the distribution key of the customer table was customer number, but the order table was order number. So there's redistribution to get the matching rows on the same spoo. So look what we have done here. We're using the old brain. Here we have created a table as, and we call it order CTOS, as select everything from the order table, distribute on customer number. So now that we've got our new table and we join this to the actual customer table, you can see here that both of these tables are distributed on customer number and they're joining on customer number equals customer number. That is one of the best reasons to create a CTOS table. Everything you wanted to know about CTOS, but were afraid to ask. First and foremost, if you do not define a distribution key on a CTOS table, it's going to inherit it from its mom or dad from the previous table you created it from. As you can see, when you insert of the data happens, all right, statistics are collected. Zone maps are automatically hit with their min and max. So everything's done so the CTOS is fully ready. Thirdly, you may actually specify the names of the columns of the CTOS or it'll just inherit it from the table that you're pulling it from. Fourth, the table can't already exist with the same name as the CTOS table unless, lastly, a temporary table can have the same name as a normal user table, but this is not a Terratom recommendation. Follow those rules and you've got your CTOS fundamentals down. Socrates once said, the only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. We're changing that. From these Natiza videos, the only true wisdom is in knowing you know everything about Natiza. Now, take a look at this. You're the DBA. You've just created a CTOS table, either to give it a better distribution key or a better co-location distribution key for your joins or a better sort order, which we'll see here in the future. But now you want this to be the production table. So you alter the table and you can rename it. You know, you can delete the other table and Here's your syntax for altering the table and renaming it. And then here is a great example. And now your CTOS table, it's got a new name. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Start your Natiza journey the right way by reading our Brilliance of Natiza book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.